What's going on guys? It's time to start the season three preseason. We got our first game at Lambeau Field against division rivals the Green Bay Packers. But first, we have a little bit of a free agent signing. I was looking through the free agents and I noticed that Tim Tebow was a free agent, so why not? Let's sign him. We have an extra quarterback that way. And then we'll go into our first preseason game. It is the beginning of season three, and I'm going to be posting these episodes individually, so there'll be four episodes for all four games. But I'm going to try to post them quickly because I know you guys want me to get to the regular season, and I do too. I'm really excited for season three. But anyways, we're in the action now, and Adrian Peterson makes the grab on second and eight, making it a third and short situation, and then Ponder finds Percy Harvin. Welcome back to the lineup. We missed him last year. He went down late in the season with a season-ending injury that kept him out of the playoffs completely. And then Plaxico Burris, a free agent signing we had last year, played extremely well, very consistent, and he gets us a first down. And then Adrian Peterson doing what he does best, finds a hole in the defense, and he exposes it all the way to the seven-yard line. First and goal for Minnesota, where Ponder, he finds Michael Jenkins coming across the middle for a Vikings touchdown, and that puts the Vikings up 7 nothing here in the first quarter. But now Aaron Rodgers and the Packers offense have the ball. Great protection for Rodgers, just waiting for his receiver to run to the spot. He finds Jordy Nelson, who is covered by Jamel Fleming on the play. 18-yard reception, and now second and three play action to Starks. And then he is taken down by the linebacker, Antoine Barnes. So the Packers now faced with a third and nine situation. Rodgers looking deep left side, and that's DJ Williams, the third-year tight end out of Arkansas. 42-yard reception, got behind the Vikings secondary, and now Rodgers and the Packers first thing goal, and Rodgers looks over the middle, and he finds his running back. That is Ernest Graham with a touchdown, so we have a tie game late in the first quarter, and Minnesota starters still in the game for a couple more plays as Ponder hooks up with Plaxico Burris, and now in the second quarter, Matt Flynn in at quarterback, and he gives to Lorenzo Booker on third and six, only picking up three yards on the play, so Minnesota gives it to the Packers, and Russell Wilson in now, and he hands it off to Shanon Campbell, and he picks up a big gain on first down, 19-yard carry. I'm going to have to learn all these new players, all these new rookies, all these second-year guys. I'm usually really good with names, but there's a lot of guys I haven't heard of, so I'm going to do my best to learn these rosters. First and ten now, Vikings have the ball. Matt Flynn back to pass, and he is sacked, and he puts the ball on the ground. That's going to be an easy scoop and score touchdown, maybe a half a yard score on that one. So Green Bay takes a 14-7 lead, and they have the ball later in the second quarter, and Wilson gives it to Shanon Campbell once again. Vontez perfect in on the stop, looking for some consistency from that middle linebacker spot. Consistency in play and in health, because because we have had so many injury problems at that position. It's just been something we cannot overcome. And we need a guy to be in there and be consistent for us. And we're hoping Perfect is that guy. And then Shane on Campbell from the 16-yard line goes up 14 yards. Really liking the way he's running. Third and goal now. Wilson at the one-yard line. And he throws it out of the back of the end zone. And so they settle for a field goal and take a 10-point lead. And Flynn. Play action to Gerhardt rolling to his right. And then he finds our third string tight end. I have no idea who that is. It's some undrafted guy that's probably not going to make the team. But he gets the first down for us. And now from the 33-yard line. The completion is to Kobe Hamilton, our fifth round draft pick, looking for an emerging receiver on this team, drafted two, and we're hoping someone can really take over a spot as we have some guys that are declining in ratings, and Percy Harvin really the only good guy on paper anyways as Mark Harrison makes another catch. That's our other rookie receiver that we drafted earlier in the draft. And then, looking deep is Matt Flynn that's picked off by... Prentice Wagner, and so Green Bay takes over once again. They're going to try to get some more points before halftime. Russell Wilson out of the gun, looks left, and that's Carrick Hocutt, rookie receiver out of Washington State, who stays inbounds and gets to the Minnesota 36-yard line. First and 10 for Wilson, back to pass out of the gun, and hit by L. Jefferson. Yeah, that's right, he has a one-letter first name. His name is L. Jefferson, and then DeAndre Reed picks up the scraps and sacks him, and they'll try to get a field goal before halftime, and it is short, so Morris Claiborne out of the end zone. Can we get a big play from one of our rookies? He's going to try to spin out a defender, breaks off a defender, and then he is taken down, so we go to halftime down by 10. Green Bay would add a quick score and then Joe Webb in the game at quarterback and he's going to take off. He's got wheels. Sign him to a long-term deal because I think I have some other ideas for him if quarterback really isn't working out for him and we have some guys on the depth chart that we can have as backups. But anyways, Ponder in the game now because I have formation sub problems sometimes and I have the wrong guys in there like Christian Ponder in the third quarter. But he picks up nine and a half yards and then 
That pass by Webb is way off of the mark, looking for our third string tight end, Hunt. And then third and inches, the handoff is to Toby Gerhardt, who is smacked by A.J. Hawk. But he picks up the first down in the process. We'll go forward third and six, play action, Webb. And rolling out to his right end, he is sacked on the right side. And that will force Ryan Longwell to come out and kick a field goal. And we'll have a 14-point deficit now. And for the Packers, third string quarterback Corey Wright, rookie out of Ohio State, is in the game now and finds James Jones for a first down. Third and four now, Minnesota looking for a stop. Play action to Jonathan Franklin and then deep pass, James Jones. Nobody even close to him. If you rewind it back and watch the safety on that side, he had the worst bite on a play action I have ever seen. It was very comical. Anyways, now, we're going to try to get a kickoff going, trying to spark some momentum in this team. Lorenzo Booker takes it, goes with the left side, and he's going to get to about the 46-yard line. So we're down by 21, got some work to do. Joe Webb's still in at quarterback, out of the gun, and Webb pumps, and then he's going to take off, see how many yards he can get, and he is tackled just short of the first down marker. So fourth and inches now, and Webb out of the gun gives the Toby Gerhardt and he picks up the first down so Minnesota's drive stays alive the chains move as they're in Green Bay territory now after a sack second and 21 Ponder is in because of formation sub and screen pass left side Kobe Hamilton block set up up the left sideline past the first down marker linebackers can't catch him safety can't catch him touchdown Kobe Hamilton 51 yard touchdown for the rookie and then the Packers back on offense and right back to pass, second and nine, and he finds Hoke cut over the middle for another first down and injury on the play, and it was Vontez Perfect. you got to be kidding me, that's four middle linebackers in a row. Can we catch a break, please, at that position? I don't mean break as in torn ligaments or broken bones, I mean, this is, this is getting old. Anyways, we force a fourth down stop, and we take over inside of our own 10-yard line, and Webb rolling to his right, and what was I thinking with that throw? I deserve that interception, picked off by the Packers. They're going to have the ball at the 12-yard line. Perfect field position, right back to pass, first and 10, looking left, and caught by Hokut, and why'd you try to shove him? you got to take him to the ground, Sanford. You're a veteran. You know better than that. So now down by 21, I mean Webb's last play in the game, he gives it to Lorenzo Booker, good block left side by Kobe Hamilton, and Lorenzo Booker past the Packers secondary, and he is off to the races, 83 yard touchdown by our third down running back. But now we go to the fourth quarter, and Packers have the ball, they have a 14 point lead, third and two, give us the Jonathan Franklin, and he goes up the middle, and he gets seven yards on the play, moving the chains, first and 20 then for Wright, after a penalty, and he has plenty of time to throw, he's going to throw it deep, and it is picked off, D'Angelo Hall, the free agent acquisition, he's got some running room, goes up the right side, and he tries to pitch it back to Morris Claiborne, and it is fumbled, and picked back up by the Packers. I like going for laterals, especially in preseason. The games don't count, but sorry, D'Angelo, I got you hurt. But second and 13, now Packers have the ball. Right passing, great protection overall. And it is caught by Jermichael Finley as he is tackled into the end zone. Scratch that, make that the one-yard line. Mistral Raymond shaking up on the play. He'd be all right. Second and goal handoff is to Alex Green, who jumps over the top of nobody for a touchdown. And now it's Tebow time. Come on, Tebow. We need a miracle comeback. First and ten. Yeah, there we go. Kobe Hamilton. Oh, boy. That was <laughs> that was pretty sweet. I got to admit, that looked pretty sweet. But the fumble is going to give the Packers great field position, and they have a Commanding lead, 24 points up on us, doubled our score. And then Tebow, I don't know what kind of throw that was, but hey, Mark Harrison makes the catch and he gets out of trouble and he gets a first down for us. So two rookie receivers played pretty well in their debuts. Now Tebow fakes the sweep and then goes over the middle for Harvin, who does not come down with it. And so we lose our first game to the Packers in the preseason, 24-48. to Ponder played pretty well. Of course, a lot of those yards coming from a 51-yard screen pass, but anyways, we lose by 24 points, and Vontez Burfitt got hurt in his first game with us. And running back Shanon Campbell out of Florida looked pretty. He played good in his debut. I liked his running. And then we have three more preseason games coming up. There'll be individual episodes. I'm going to try to pump them out as fast as I can. 
I want to get to the regular season just as bad as you guys, so three more games. We'll check out how a bunch of our rookies are doing, and hopefully we have some guys at the end of preseason that can emerge as starters on this team. And then we have cuts, and we don't need a backup punter. So we're going to cut Derek Arnold, although he had a really good leg strength, i got to admit. He's a lefty kicker as well. So we'll cut the backup kicker, Jack Marshall. And I'm sorry that's your only chance, but it's not going to happen with Minnesota. Then we're going to cut our fifth quarterback because we already have four on the depth chart. And then next episode, we'll be going against the Washington Redskins. Perfect is only out for one game, so we'll see him in week three of the preseason. But guys, that is the end of the episode. But a couple videos for you guys to check out. On top, we have the offseason and NFL draft, which is the last episode I posted. And so if you missed that one, you want to check it out. And then on the bottom, if you haven't seen it yet, Super Bowl against the Indianapolis Colts. It was a great game. And I'll be working on the rest of the preseason episodes so I can get those out to you guys quickly. And then we'll go on to the regular season, beginning of Season 3. So I'll see you guys next time when the Vikings take on the Washington Redskins. Thank you for watching and have a great day.